Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Modes. In today's episode we're going to be doing a little review on a little um, attachment I've got for my Rode Wireless Go microphone and uh, transmitter device. It's very very cold in the old shack. I have just come down. It's about half past six at night. Riley Boy's in bed and uh, Nana P's up, up the top there. Mrs P's actually at work. So I just come on down the shed, bang the heat on for half an hour just whilst I get this video done. So you may get a little bit of mist coming up my mouth where it's absolutely freezing cold. But before we move on, I've got a couple of bits just to show you, of bits I've picked up and uh, some bits off my Amazon wishes and some presents, which is quite cool. The first present is from um, Ashley at AJP's um, Garden Machines. He sent me a nice little t-shirt here. It's got uh, as seen on YouTube on the back. So thank you very much for Ash. Much appreciate, mate. Love little t-shirt. I've been wearing it lots. I did do it in a previous video, but I lost since lost the footage to that video. So I've had to write the whole video completely off. So I thought I'd uh, come down and do a little shout out for you there. So go and check out, go and check out Ash at uh, AJP Garden Machines. He's a super cool fella. Uh, the next present I got um, is actually off my Amazon wish list. And I've got a nice uh, big pack of um, Briggs & Stratton Classic um, filters. And that comes from um, Enjoy Your Gift from Colin K. So Colin K has sent me over um, 10, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, 10 um, Briggs & Stratton um, air filters, which is fantastic. Cheers up, buddy boy. Much appreciated. The next person has sent me off my Amazon wish list also. This has come from, this has come from Conquer via Ken Small Engines. Um, he put us on to these, and uh, he said if you put them on there, um, Conker, Top Conker wants to buy these. And these were featured on another YouTuber, um, the Mer Medic. Go and check the Mer Medic out and let him know that Mixed Mirrors has sent him. These are some, some easy outs that um, you, all you do is you put into your, into your Torx or drill bit, um, your, your impact gun, and you gently tap them into your main jet, into your drill, in, into your, your main jet on your carburetors. You tap them in and they will actually uh, extract uh, main jets and what have you from carburetors. I have actually seen, he's actually got a video on it, on it doing it. So if your jets are stripped right out, uh, you can tap these in and they, they will remove them. And they come up to a, an absolutely massive size. Uh, but mainly the number one is the one I should be using for the smaller carburetors that I do. Um, as I say, you just tap, tap them in, gently, gently tap. You haven't got to clout them. Just gently tap them in, put your drill on there, and just extract them out. And apparently they work fantastic. So cheers for that, Top Conker. Much appreciated, as always. That's good. Um, second thing I've bought for myself, um, I bought myself a little tiny um, paint spray gun because I want to get into, um, I do spraying anyway, but mainly just rattle can stuff. I'm looking to upgrade my compressor at some point. So I bought myself a little cheap little um, paint spray gun this is a, um, what make is this? This is a, a Dorm Dre uh, Micro. So I don't do a lot, I don't do massive spray paint, I just do little tiny stuff. Um, this is a, a gravity fed one, it comes with a bottle, it comes with all the kit you need other than the um, the water extraction, but I have one anyway, uh, which I can fit. And all you do is you just screw that to the top of your, top of your gun, you put your, your paint in there with your thinners and what have you. And you have a go at doing that as well. So that, that becomes another video. I'll have a go at doing that. Uh, it's not something I've done before. Normally I just do the old rattle can stuff. Uh, but we should see. Um, for, for the decks, I just thought I'd give it a go. That was um, 12 quid. 12 quid for the actual gun itself. And you get a few bits and pieces in there which you need. Uh, connections and what have you. So that's cool. I quite like that. And then to go in line with that, oh, I've also picked up um, some, some little tiny sticks uh, for stirring. Some filters and some uh, some measuring cups as well. They were about £11 for the set off of the Amazonian as well. So that's what I've been buying, um, and that's that. But what, what I want to talk to you about is that I currently um, have my Rode wireless mic either just here um, tucked, and it creases your T-shirt right up, or um, I have it tucked onto a piece of pull cord or onto my necklace, uh, tuck it in there like so, and that's that's sort of where it sits, which is great, but it, it does tend to flap about quite a lot, okay? And also, if it's too close to, to, your, to your face, you get a lot of heavy breathing as well. I'll just pop that down there for now. You should still be able to hear me, no problem at all. But I picked up this um, Mag Clip Go um, from the Rode Wireless Mic um, Company. And it comes with one clip and one magnet. Now, the idea of this is, is so that you can tuck it away a bit, bit more so it's sort of hidden. Um, and you can pretty much put it anywhere. So if you're going to like a wedding or something like that, and you're having a video done, you can put it behind your 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 lapel of your of your um, of your suit. You can put it inside a shirt and hide it in there. They do it also in, in the white as well because you can get these in white colours. But all you do 
is it comes with a magnet and it comes with a clip. And it's quite a strong, quite a strong magnet to be fair. And all you do is you just where your clip is here on your mic, you just reverse it, and you just slide this clip up onto there like so. Okay. Now that's in place. You're going to get your magnet, and your magnet will just sit onto there like so, and it will hold it anywhere you want it. So what you can do, um, some people put theirs on the inside. Some on the outside. So what you can do now is just put your magnet down, down onto your chest, clip your your magnet to just uh, just put it into place, and it will sit pretty much. That's cold. It will pretty much just sit anywhere on your t-shirt, wherever you want it. And when you also want to take it off, just grab hold of the magnet around the back, and just remove it. Just pull it off. It is quite a strong magnet, as I say. It is. It is all there. If not, what you can also do is you can reverse it. So you put your your uh, mic on the inside. And then have your magnet on the outside and you can wait underneath and all you're seeing is just that let me just straighten the magnet up a touch all you're seeing is just literally just like little tiny that little tiny black piece just there and you can wear it underneath and that way if you're wearing it underneath you won't get any any wind interference because under your t-shirt as well so i picked that up off of amazonium um that was 15 quid i have seen it for about 11 or 12 pound um but it is quite is quite a good little device for what it is, and as I say, it, it is a good strong magnet. It's not it's not it's not inferior, you know. But the way what I like to do, I like to put mine oh, so my magnet is actually inside my t-shirt. But I have it quite down low now, right down on my tummy, so it's actually out of shot as well. Just line the magnet up, and it's right down there out the way. And generally, you can't see it within my camera shot. But you can still get me on good audio too, because if this microphone is too close to too close to your to your mouth, you get a lot of heavy breathing, a lot of in interference. But you can pretty much wear it on on any setup at all. If, as I say, if you've got a shirt, you can tuck it behind behind your shirt or inside your pocket, and just have the little tiny magnet on the outside. If you've got a white shirt, you just buy the white clip. If you've got a black shirt, you buy the black clip. And all you can then see is just that little tiny, 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 tiny magnet on the outside. That magnet's uh, not even an inch. So if I put it again on the inside, next to the uh, next to Ash's logo, just see. All we can do is line it up with a clip. It takes seconds to do, and once you've got it lined up right, like so, you don't get none. You don't get none of this this um, wrinkling effect business going on. Like so. So you've got a little tiny clip just there, which is not really visible, but yet you can still hear me nice and loud and clear underneath my t-shirt. So. That's one way of doing it, as I say, and the other way of doing it is to just remove it. And I have it, I prefer it this way. So you can have it right round here, out the way. Right round on the side of your shirt. As I say, just line that magnet up, put it down there, and it's out the way. And literally, that, that, that will not pull off unless you, unless you really pull it. So I quite like it just about there. Whilst I'm working on stuff, also my arm won't catch it, and you're not getting no heavy breathing or anything like that. So if you're interested, um, Feel free to check out um, my description or my pinned comment uh, for the Mag Clip Go um, wireless mic setup. There it is, just there. I'll put a link into the description and also a link into my pinned comment if anyone wants to go and find it. Um, I've got for Amazonian, but as I say, I'll give you a fast link to go and find it. So thank you very much, Ashley, for my T-shirt. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, Colin K, for my air filters. Thank you very much, Top Conquer, for my easy outs. Much appreciated, as seen on my medics video and um, Ken Small Engines put you onto it. And I've also got my spray gun and what have you coming up. So I probably won't be doing it at this time of year because it is winter time, but uh, I'll probably do it as I get in a bit more closer into the, the spring and summer as the temperature does pick up. And it'd just be handy, just forgot some, some more lawnmowers down here, which for the decks just a little bit tired. And it might just pay sometimes just to, just to run a, a quick top coat of red over it or something like that and then just, just hit it with a, a 4K lacquer just to really bring that deck up and you can really increase the price of your mowers going forward. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit your subscribe button and whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told when I've done a video or two of them on my Saturday night weekly live stream which starts at 6.30pm UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.